This is MIC-04 Small Engine Information Storage and we're going to talk about how to find information for a Briggs & Stratton small engines. We use the website Power Portal, so it's thepowerportal.com and what you can do is you just log in wherever you want and the login is cmartins at chinooksd.ca. You can see that that's the same for everybody. The password on your computer will be S-C-C-H-S, S-C-C-H-S, 2014. So that's the password for everybody. And um, that's what it'll look like. Now, before we do that, what we'll need to do is we'll need to find some numbers from the engine. Now, on the engine, you can see on this engine, this is a 6.5 horse Briggs & Stratton overhead valve engine. On the side of the valve cover, you'll see some numbers like this, model, type, and code numbers. You'll need these, the model and the type number in order to find stuff. On uh, another one of the engines we have, which is a uh, five horsepower engine, or these three and a half horsepower, the model type and code is found on the side right here. So um, all of these numbers right over here, that stuff right there. So that's the model type and code. You'll need that information for when we um, start digging into the website. So let's do that. So this is our live website. I'm just going to log in. I've already got everything punched in. Now what you'll do is you'll find this. There are several things that we need to look for, and most of the time what we'll find, we'll find them under this technical publications search by model. So I'm going to click on there, and that'll take us over here. We need, we're going to do two things here. We can either enter the model number or serial number, or we can look at repair manuals. The old-fashioned way is to look at the repair manuals. We're going to dig right into the enter model number and serial number. So one of the model numbers that you'll I'll be giving you is 135202. That's our five horsepower, and you're going to click submit. It's going to get some results. And then what we'll see is we'll see a, a bunch of things here, information about some engine details. We can find some specifications common parts, other documentation, so we can find illustrated parts list, all of that stuff, and engine technical specifications. On your chart, on your worksheet, you will probably need to hit this engine tech specs and also specifications. That's where you'll find the information to put on there. After you do that, you'll need to find go into the engine repair manuals. Now, the engine repair manuals we can select right here on your two engines. The two engines that we have from Briggs & Stratton are the let's see, let's go all the way down here, single cylinder L-head engine after 1981. That's the five horsepower engine. So we click on this and this is going to open up a PDF it's a digital copy of the manual. So it's just loading up here. There we are. Now on that digital copy, if you uh, look, you'll see a bunch of things here. One of the things you'll have to look for is on general information. Chapter 1, this is section 1 has most of what we're going to look for, so you can just scroll down to there. There's a few items on there that I get you to look for. Most of the time they're going to be in this first section, but we may need to go look for it. And the beauty of having a digital copy of a paper book is that we can look for something. The best way to do that is to type Control F and when you do that, something pops up right here. And I can type in there, and one of the things we'll have to look for is cylinder head something. And so what that does is it gives you cylinder head, one of 19. I can hit this arrow down, and I can search for anything that has to do with 
cylinder head, whether that's the cylinder head bolts or whether that's the torque patterns, anything like that. That's what we can find. Good. Another thing that we want to look for uh, as far as this manual goes is um, actually everything else you need to find is in chapter one. So you look in there and we will be good to go. So if we go back here, we can find the other engine. So that one was single cylinder L head after 1981. The only other one we use is a single cylinder OHV. And so we'll click on there. And you're going to look for all of the other things that you need to find too. Okay.